When do you use templates in Cricut Design Space? And more importantly, how do you use them? It's our next edition of the Cricut Basic Series, and we have all the answers around templates in Cricut Design Space for you. Be sure to check out the rest of the Cricut Basic Series if you have any questions about Cricut Design Space at all. We're trying to cover everything in this series. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk all about templates in Cricut Design Space. When you open up a new canvas in Cricut Design Space, you will see templates on the left. You can click that and get tons of template options. So templates help you to size your project when working in Cricut Design Space. You can choose one of the templates that match the project you're working on and get the size approximately correct. I would still recommend measuring it with your with a ruler, like your project itself, and then comparing that to the canvas in Cricut Design Space before you actually make the cut. But let's say that you are making a baseball t-shirt for your son or daughter. You can click on the baseball t-shirt template and again, it will tell you that templates are intended for reference only and they will not be saved with your project. So these are actually a layer within your project but it will not cut it if you go to cut the project from Cricut Design Space. And then we can click on images and we can insert any image onto the canvas and then size it to fit the baseball t-shirt that we just inserted. So let's pick one of these new Star Wars designs. And then you can see the Star Wars and size it to fit the baseball tee. Now, how do you know what size the baseball tee actually is? You can click on the baseball t-shirts down in the bottom right hand corner, and then it will pull up the type and size of t-shirt. So let's say I wanna do a kid's three quarter sleeve t-shirt with the Star Wars logo on it. I would pick the kids, let it regenerate the baseball tee, and then I can pick the size. So my child wears a large, so I'm gonna regenerate that to a large. Now, these are all approximate sizes, once again, and are intended for your reference only. So I would pull it up and use that to size my design. So I think that's a little large for the design, so we'll go a little smaller. Okay, so I think that's about the size I would like it to be. Now what I would do is use the measurement marks on design space itself to get an approximate width. One, two, so about six and a half inches wide by about three and a half tall would be an approximate measurement. And then I can use those measurements with a ruler on my actual shirt to get an idea if that's the size I want. And then I could resize the design if I wanted it larger or smaller based on that. So the templates are wonderful if you would like a reference for the size and kind of to um, also it helps to visualize the project actually on the surface, whether it be a t-shirt or other surface. So it helps to visualize that project as well. However, they it will not cut. So it will not cut this t-shirt out. It is not in the cut portion up um, on the top. It is on the bottom. So it will not cu actually cut that template. And also it is for reference only, so your size could vary a little bit, but they usually are pretty good. So if you wanna give templates a try for your next project and see if they make creating in Cricut Design Space easier for you. Hope you enjoyed that and know a little bit more about templates in Cricut Design Space. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ask any questions that you have below and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the Cricut Basics series. We have tons more to teach you all about Cricut Design Space and using your machine.